In this video, we'll be discussing everything you need to know about using a home equity loan to buy a second property, whether it's an investment property or a holiday home. First of all, what is home equity? It's the amount of money you own in your home calculated by subtracting your existing mortgage balance from the current value of your home. For example, if your home is worth 300 grand and you have 100 grand left to pay on your mortgage, you have 200,000 pounds of equity in your property. Now, what is a home equity loan? It's a special type of loan that allows you to use home equity as collateral within a loan agreement. You can generally use up to 80 to 85% of the equity in your home as collateral, which reflects the maximum amount of loan that you can get. So what are the pros and the cons of using home equity loans to buy a second property? Firstly, the pros. You can get competitive interest rates because lenders feel more comfortable with the equity being used as collateral. You can access large amounts of credit that may not be possible with alternative credit options. And home equity loans are widely available through banks, online lenders and building societies. The cons. You are risking your home when taking out any home equity loan. You may have to pay for an appraisal valuation to help the lender calculate your current home equity accurately and you may be subject to closing fees at the end of the loan term. It's important to note that you will still need to prove that you can repay the initial home equity loan in addition to the second home mortgage in order to use a home equity loan to buy a second property. Now, can you use a home equity loan to pay off your current mortgage? Yes, it is possible, but you should consider any applicable fees such as loan closing fees and early mortgage repayment fees. If you're interested in using your home equity to buy another house, you may want to know how much equity you can use. There's no fixed amount, but the maximum amount of equity a lender will typically allow you to access is between about 80 and 85%. Lastly, let's discuss the difference between buying a second property and buying an investment property. A second property is a home that you will use exclusively at different times of the year, while an investment property is one that you'll be renting out to other people who will pay to live there or to holiday there. If you're considering using your home equity to buy an investment property, there are advantages to doing so, such as being able to increase your second property deposit. However, you'll usually require a buy to let mortgage as opposed to a standard residential mortgage for this. While it is possible to use a home equity loan to buy a second property, you need to be approved for all the credit required to make it happen. It's important to consider the pros and the cons, as well as the potential risks before making any decisions. If you're interested in finding a loan for your circumstances, then simply click the link in the description and fill out the short form. It contains a few questions like whether you're a homeowner and how much you'd like to borrow, and it gives you access to quotes from around the UK tailored to your circumstance. It's totally free to do, and of course, it won't affect your credit score. Click the link in the description and fill out the short form to try it out.